In this video, we import a TIN model into new file format. We select the feature definition. Feature definitions are quite important in the new product as these are needed for BIM related workflows. And you can see that the file is imported. With using intelligent menu items, you can easily display the things like contours, triangles, or uh, point elevations. Also, you can take advantage of thematic displays in the power platform the new power platform. So here we just uh, make a thematic height display. We also have uh, new analyze tools in the uh, new designer terrains. So here we analyzing a trace slope. There are other tools like analyzing the elevations, the slopes, or reporting uh, different aspects of the terrain. You can see that how we analyze the uh, maximum slope trace in uh, NIF terrain. Next, let's have a look at raster images, point clouds, and reality meshes. A wide set of different image formats are supported in Raster Manager. You can also use Bing Maps as rasters. Raster Manager also allows manipulation of rasters, such as clipping, or combining, or warping, transforming. So you can manipulate your raster images in different ways. Next, let's take a look at point clouds. Point clouds are supported in a variety of formats. I think it is worth mentioning that as point clouds can include millions of points, they can be huge in size, that is multiple gigabytes. The point cloud engine inside OpenRail Designer can easily work with these huge data sets. It's not only displaying the points, but you can also use tools like grant extraction or uh, using intelligent snaps to extract edges. Or as you will see here, you can use different color modes, different uh, annotations for intensity. And all of these tools are included in the uh, tools in OpenRail Designer. Next, let's see how you can use reality meshes. Reality meshes are models that are created from photographs. That is simply, you take the photos of the location that you want from different directions, and then using our context capture software, assemble these into a single 3D model. This model can also have coordinate system defined. Then you can attach this to OpenRail Designer. In OpenRail Designer, you can use this model not only to see your location with a 3D view, but also you can do things like sectioning, ground extraction, draping elements, volume calculations, or convert this to a simple terrain. So reality meshes potentially can move your terrain workflows into a new dimension.